Hello, Spin94 here, and today I'm bringing you a battle against Rodent. This is a quite an old battle I had on my Versus recorder. I thought I'd upload it because it has a quite an interesting scenario between an Amulgam and an Aegislash, an off matchup you don't want to see very often, especially once the Amulga come out on top just trolling. So anyway, it leads off with a Shine Tyranitar as I lead off my Amulga, and this was before I even nicknamed any of these like Flying Chew or Mill, the Mill Tank Burger Queen or anything like that. So talking of Mill Tank, that's what I switch into. I decide to switch into my Mill Tank, and of course he does predict the switch, so I've got on my opponent here. As I should have just stayed and tried to do something, but at least he predicted the switch, that was good on him. So he switches out his Tyranitan saying it does no damage at all, and he goes into his Brown, which is obviously a fighting type, which is going to quite easily scare the Milk Tank off, and I don't go for a Body Slam or anything like that, so I just want to set up Stealth Rocks, because his team doesn't have a Rapid Spinner as far as I can see. So after some being hit by the buff by the Sandstorm and getting some Lettuce Recovery, obviously Milk Tank is not going to want to hang around and take whatever the thing wants to chuck out, and he does go for the Low Sweep. Which does hurt Muck quite a bit, but of course it is a resistant hit, and you know, Muck doesn't care about its speed falling as the sandstorm's gonna buffer us both. So, after some Black Sludge recovery, I believe I go for a Fire Punch here, trying to catch his Breloom off guard, seeing if it wanted to try and set up or anything like that. But he goes. Ugh, pardon me. He just goes into his Tyrantrum, and I just go for straight to the Fire Punch, hope it could have burned. Uh, of course, I don't get it. I should have went for the Power Punch to start setting up, that would have done huge damage to this Muck. Not to this Muck, to this Tyranitan. But we'll, you know, here we we'll end well. So I'm going to Sandy D here, because Sandy D is going to be up to take an earthquake just fine. So I didn't want to switch on my Amulga just in case it did go for the um, Stone Edge protecting the Amulga switching. So it goes into the Noivern here as I went for my own earthquake to try and kill the, the Tyrantrum off, but he does switch out, which is a good play on him. So I decide to switch out and go into my Cresselia, which is my just all round wall. So this thing does go for the Boom Burst, and that does good chunk considering I'm a Cresselia. So after some lefties recovery, I am fearing the Dark Pulse, the Shadow Ball, and it does carry the Shadow Ball here. But luckily, I carry the Thunder Wave on my Cresselia, and that's going to stop this thing dead in its tracks. Got the thing with Noivern is it has, you know, it has great speed, but it doesn't have great anything else. It's got surprisingly decent health bulk, I believe. But as I say, get a paralysis on this thing, and this thing is nowhere near as useful as it could be. So after getting down to 100 health, he starts saying it's going to go nowhere. I did predict a switch, but I just said I wanted to get some recovery and I wanted to get a decent amount of health. So in comes the just last year, as I'm close, going to go straight for a moonlight here, just to start getting recovery and all that. Uh, my opponent makes a questionable play here. I do decide to switch out and go into my Amulga, just as Death Rod originally, but it goes to the King Shield. And with it going for the King Shield, that says, okay, what will your plan here? So I decide to Encore into the King Shield, and as you're about to say, this is where I just start trolling this Aegis Slash. So I keep going for the hidden power and all that as it, it's locked into King Shield and doesn't want to switch. So I go for the Electro Ball here, which is my strongest attack, and it barely does anything to this Aegis Slash. So King Shield again, as I'm going to go for the hidden power, which is hidden power dark, and unfortunately I'm not going to be able to do anything to this thing. So I go for the Encore again, just to keep the King Shield going, but it fails. So at this point, I'm just thinking, my god, I wish I had agility on this thing. <laughs> I could have been at like plus six now with this Amolga, and maybe caused some real good damage. So hidden power again, take it down to half. As the trolling just keeps going, as I'm just going to keep going for the hidden powers, etc. So this time he just stands change and he goes for a Sacred Sword, which is certainly a questionable play here. I mean, Sacred Sword's resisted, even the Iron Head would have done more damage, even though I resisted that. So he just decides to switch and he goes into his Electrovire. And obviously, after the Stealth Rock damage, I go for Hidden Power. Maybe he's predicting the extra ball to get the motor drive up, but either way. So, he put Hidden Power again, and that does a good chunk of damage, and of course, it reveals it's a crit. As he does go for the Flamethrower, so special Electrovire, something you don't see too often. I don't know how viable it is. I unfortunately don't know Electrovire sets very well. But of course, as you can see, the Flamethrower certainly does a good chunk of damage as my poor little Mocha goes down. But it was rather funny at this match, just trolling at Age of Slash for several turns. So, I go for the Aqua Jet just to finish this thing off, as just Slide does its thing. So, he goes back into Breloom, and I don't have much to hit this thing with. I could have went for the Ice Fang, but I didn't want to risk it and missing, so I do decide to withdraw into my Muck, as I'm pretty confident I'm going to be able to take whatever from this thing. As it goes for the Low Sweep, and Muck just, you know, Muck doesn't care about a speed drop, it's a Muck for crying out loud. So, he just decided to withdraw again, and I can't remember what play I made here. Hopefully, I made the smart play of going for the Power Up Punch, which I probably don't, because it is me. So the sand stream goes up again, lovely setup, and as I do make the smart play and go for the power punch, which is going to kill this Tyrantrum off and give me the nice plus and attack. So down goes this Tyrantrum, which is quite a threat, but the sandstorm's just going to keep chipping away at Muck, and the black sludge isn't going to help me too much. So you just go to his Blaziken here, which I do love in its shiny form. The shiny Blaziken looks pretty sweet, like the colours are a lot more prominent on it. So I'll go with the Shadow Snake to see how much damage I can do, and I don't do a great deal actually, and this Brave Bird's going to hit Muck like a truck. 
but it doesn't kill me, thank God. Which is strange because I honestly thought it would have killed me. I mean, the blaze kick might have been the better move, but the blaze kick has a chance of missing and Brave Bird's 100% accurate. So, so so to my opponent. As I go for the blaze, and not the blaze kick, as I go for the shadow sneak and get the poison touch. But of course, he's going to sky up a cut me and he's going to finish off my. Po oh no, he's not going to finish off my ball mark. So I get the poison. He doesn't finish me off, but I believe I get buffered by the sandstorm here. And then Muck dies. I, do I thought Muck didn't live against this blaze again. But as I say, I can see into slash again. It's feeling pretty confident, but I'm just going to go into just slide. So, you know, stab life all back with dread from a just slide is going to kill this thing. Boom. Dead was the age of slash. It's I, I still find this that thing strange in Ubers, but me as I say, it's it's quite a predicty Pokemon. If you can get the predict on it, you take it out. But it's all Pokemon's all about predicting. So I'm um, yeah, I'm so so on the ages. Age, age of Slash ban. I mean, I don't think it should have been banned, but that's just me. Say, I'm just one person. Not, you know, not exactly a great person in the Pokemon community, but whatever. So anyway, this Burlum's going to keep hitting me with the bullet seeds. Bam, 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 bam. As I'm going to be quite... Well, not quite low on health. Three quarters health, but I'm enough off to start doing some damage. And say, another questionable player, they'll also appear just getting my speed down. As I'm just going to go over the Psychic and finish this Burlum off. Because Burlum... I do run a Burlum, and Burlum's not exactly known for being a bulky Pokemon. I mean, the, poil he the Poison Heal version looks interesting, but I just never see it run. So this match is pretty much going to end, as I said, the Stealth Rocks is going to take us to on this Neuvern, as I'm just going to go for the Psychic and finish the match on there. So thank you for watching guys, thanks for the match road, and good t you had a good team there, nice to see all those shinies, and I hope the people watching at home will consider liking, subscribing, all that rubbish, and of course I hope you all have a nice weekend.